It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Well, I mean... Yeah, I've got you fine. God. <clears throat> Sounds great, thank you. Uh, we can make it through the six. Gosh, I hate this because I can't. No, I mean, no, it's, o it's over for us once that happens. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where is he? Where is he? Look oh, out, jeez. It's the last time I do that. Near the near the triangle. See if we can get a little closer to him now. He's going westbound on 435. Can you catch up to him? Yeah, forget. Forget. <clears throat> I got him. I got him. Yeah, but we need to get closer. I don't care about him seeing us now. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay, now get on the other side of him. Thank you. 
when did this start? 4.30? Yeah, uh, add to that the left rear tire now showing sparks as well as this uh, uh, pickup truck now. Whoever owned this stolen pickup truck, I don't think is going to get uh, one back in working order as it is slowly but surely disassembling as it goes down the highway or see more tires, uh, more rubber coming off the tires and uh, just on the rims on a couple of those, maybe uh, three by now. And it's amazing. You could uh, imagine what the driver is trying to do to keep it under control. However, what we are seeing now, believe what we're seeing as far as this vehicle is at maximum speed because it, uh, it seems to pour even more smoke out uh, little by little here. And this really has never been a high speed chase. A couple of times when police on the ground uh, began to uh, maybe think about an intercept or get behind the vehicle, it took off like crazy. But then as soon as they pulled back, back to normal uh, driving uh, and a lot of it in and out of neighborhoods a lot of turns residential areas down highways up and down uh, on ramps off ramps but uh, never stopping and rarely driving dangerously or erratically so that is about the only good news we have with what is more of a surveillance than a pursuit uh, it is the kansas city missouri police helicopter that began the surveillance at one point they did call it a pursuit but even they pulled back a little bit so now you look at that left rear tire uh the wheel now no tire left and sparks coming from that to me that would indicate that uh, maybe earlier we said we don't know when this is going to end maybe the word imminent uh would be uh, appropriate as far as when this ending will uh, actually happen and what happens after that no word on who's driving that vehicle but with the slower speed now we think what the police have been avoiding which is uh police behind this vehicle starting a high speed pursuit this vehicle may be unable to attain a high speed and maybe uh, police are thinking about getting in there and now is the time to put this to an end johnny rollins news chopper nine back to you in the studio I never did say where it was. <laughs> That's the golden rule, who, what, where, how, when. can't steer.
What's he going? Where is he? This would be a good place to intercept, but they're probably just saying he's going to be done here in a minute. <laughs> See that guy looking at it? Oh. Go ahead and go to the left behind him. See if he's getting. Well, we want to go over there. We want to get on the east side one way or the other. Because the police come. He has not gotten out yet. He opened the door now. Or he or she. I didn't see him get out, did you? Okay. Well, 103rd and State Line, Chris, it's gonna be just on the north side of State Line, correction, 103rd Street east of State Line. We've seen the driver open the door a couple of times. Can't tell if they're uh, looking out the window at us. The uh, Kansas City, Missouri Police Department uh, helicopter on site as well. But the truck was having a difficult time moving. Definitely the driver having a difficult time steering. So we don't know if this is going to be the end of that truck moving and now the driver is just waiting or uh, trying to figure out what to do from here. But it is a pretty crowded parking lot and uh, you can see a lot of cars here, uh, a lot of uh, businesses on this south, correction, northwest corner. I'll take that back, northeast corner of 103rd and State Line. So right now, uh, we have not seen any police presence as has been the rule during this chase or observation or surveillance or whatever. All of that now done from the air with the police helicopter. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if they seize this opportunity to get in there and apprehend the suspect, uh, check out uh, the stolen vehicle, or if they're gonna wait it out a little bit longer, uh, that's uh, probably quite the chess game right now. Johnny Rollins, News Chopper 9, back to you in the studio. Let me know if you see him move. Oh, okay, the driver's out, the driver's out, the driver is out. Driver, yeah, the, the driver is out um, and uh, running through the parking lot. I uh, don't know what store this is down below, but that is where they are headed. And we have just talked about, uh, hope he doesn't go into a store or whoever, it appears to be a male. Uh, we were hoping that would not happen. Now that person is gonna try and blend in with everybody else in that store. Police are gonna have to get in there in order to uh, try to apprehend them. 
and who knows how do they do that uh, so at this point the suspect of the stolen white pickup truck that has led police on a long tour of the city the southeast side for the last uh, better part of an hour and a half almost two hours uh, we'll see what store this is uh, but now inside and it's anybody's guess it's a price chopper grocery store And, and here's the other yeah it is and and here's the deal we don't we don't even know if the, we don't we don't know if police know who the suspect was they may not even know what they look like so now in that store how do they figure out who might be the person who was driving uh, for the last two hours, uh, would there be anything significant about that person that would attach them or tie them to this whole event? And I can't think of anything it would be. So it's plausible they could be in there and they can't find them. And, and that's a uh, Laura, you brought up a great point. We don't know anything about this uh, suspect who, who is a suspect now in this uh, this chase and certainly uh, in possession of a stolen vehicle. But uh, if this is somebody with a record, somebody with any kind of a uh, criminal background or a violent past, and that person sees police approaching, who knows what could happen? I'm not trying to paint a bad picture here, but uh, for a moment I was thinking, well, they can just go in there and disappear and nobody's going to even know they were in there without thinking about the fact that while hopefully it is not someone who, uh, when threatened, could, uh, uh, could take a different turn. So far, as we said, this has been uh, a pretty reasonable uh, situation with not much in the way of any danger or uh, erratic driving. So we'll hope that that whole theme stays together. Okay, we'll show you the uh, vehicle that police uh, followed from the air. It was uh, more of a surveillance, never a police chase with uh, any uh, police vehicles, patrol cars in pursuit. But it went all the way around Midtown and then down 71 Highway uh, over to uh, 435, uh, the Bruce Watkins Drive, of course, I just said, 350 Highway, uh, then down 435 again, exited at State Line. It came around the back of this price chopper then or actually to the west side of it and then ended up where i just showed you behind another business there i think it's a restaurant and the driver sat in the car for probably at least five minutes maybe ten then opened the door and jogged into the price chopper clear across the uh, uh parking lot and that is what we know now we saw that but well, we didn't see him uh and it was a male by the way we did not see him walked through the door but we didn't see him go any other direction either we were back behind the price chopper and then moved over a little bit further to the south so we could see the front and in no time did we see uh, get a glimpse of the driver again so the assumption now uh, or certainly we're presuming they're inside of the price chopper now the question is uh, what is the nature of the hmm, demeanor of that person who stole that car and we'll hope that uh, this comes to a peaceful end. But it's very interesting that uh, 
there's only one police car out here. And again, you know, it's all calculated by the police department. And so uh, I'm sure that's by design.